Haley and I thought I might be interesting to see me unpackage my home health shipment for my pick line. So this just includes all my saline infusion supplies and stuff like that. So I just thought it might be interesting to see how I unpackage it and put it away. I really don't have a ton of storage. All of these drawers are full basically, but yeah, we're gonna have to figure out how to make it fit in here somehow. So <laughs> let's just go ahead and get started. So here I am just taking everything out of the box that they had sent me. They just kind of put everything in these giant bags. So I'm just unloading them. And then this box was just all the saline. So I just put it on the floor. And then I like to sanitize everything just because pick lines should be kept very clean. I just am using this Clorox wipe to just sanitize the entire top before I lay everything out on it. And then here I'm just organizing everything by each product. And then I went ahead and moved some drawers around, which I realized I shouldn't have done with my pick line because it was way too heavy for me to be lifting, but thankfully nothing happened. Uh, and then I'm just going ahead and Clorox wiping out the drawers as well, just because I want to make sure everything's super clean. And then I'm also clearing out another drawer for all my saline to go into, and again, I'm sanitizing the drawer. And then this was filmed on a separate day after I went ahead and bought some containers and I am just organizing all of my supplies into containers so that they aren't just like flying all over the place when I open and close the drawers. So I just went to the Dollar Tree and got some dollar containers because I don't have much money to spend. And honestly, they work super well and I really like all the containers they have there. They have a lot of variety and stuff like that. Um, and you can just see I'm just trying different containers for different products and I'm watching YouTube while I do it on my phone. You can also see that I am sanitizing all of the containers as well. Just because they were sitting out at the dollar store, you never know who's been touching them or whatever. And I just like to be extra careful with all of my pick line supplies because you don't want to get any infections or carry any germs or anything. So I'm just really extra careful. And now it's time to put everything in the drawers. And I was having a little bit of issue with the tubing to figure out how it would fit in there because the containers I was using was too big. So I switched to these little ones and then I'm just trying to figure out how to set it up and organize it inside the drawer. And then it's time to organize the bottom drawer, which this one has a lot more little pieces. So it did take me a lot longer to do this one, but I'm just re-sanitizing the drawer after I took everything out, because I figured, why not? And then I'm just working on putting everything into its own container. And then once I thought I had everything in the correct container, I tried to put it in the drawer, 
but I realized it didn't work so off of camera I had to like completely redo some of it but this is how it turned out after I redid it and this was the second drawer that I did so I just have all of my pick line supplies and infusion supplies on this right side of this Ikea dresser. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what's in each drawer. So right in this top one, we just have all of my saline bags and I'm just on normal saline and this was about a month's worth when they sent it to me, but I've already used a few so I don't know exactly how much I have left, but that's all that's in the top drawer here. Then in this middle drawer here, we just have my alcohol swabs, my Kiros caps and swab caps, my non-sterile gloves, these are pick line covers that I never use and probably never will, but they sent them to me for free. And then this is a shower pick line cover. Again, I don't use this. Milo, <laughs> no. I have a nicer shower cover that I bought off Amazon. In the back here, we just have the tubing for my saline infusions. And then over on the right in this big container, we just have my heparin and saline flushes. And now for the last drawer, this is basically stuff I use for my dressing changes. So over in this big container, these are the sterile dressing changes supplies. Uh, in front of this, I do have some band-aids that I had for sub QIG. I honestly never use them. And then I have a EpiPen that I also had from sub QIG. Um, long story short, I can't do sub QIG anymore because of insurance. But over here, I just have a thermometer. You need to make sure that you have a really good thermometer when you have a central line, because if you have any sort of fever, you have to go to the ER immediately just because of the infection risk with central lines. Uh, this container is basically stuff I never use. I have lidocaine cream, which again was from sub QIG. I have uh, random tapes that I don't use with my central line and then some gauze that I also had from sub QIG. Then in the back here, these are my Sorbivue and Opsite dressings. Um, I currently use Sorbivue dressings and I probably am gonna stick with Sorbivue unless I find a better one. Right here is my extension tubing, and then here are my iodine swabs that we use for dressing changes because I'm allergic to chlorhexidine. And then here are bio patches, and then those are the claves, are they called claves? Yeah, those are called clave connectors. It's basically like the thing that goes on the end of the extension tubing. Um, back here we have my stat locks, which keep the pick line in place, and yeah, that's all that's in here. Oh, also, if you're wondering what this is, I have no idea what it is. They sent it to me. I'm assuming it's to like clamp something, but who knows. So that's basically it on how I organize my pick line supplies. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this, and if you guys have any other video suggestions on what you want to see, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon on a new video. Bye!